Psalm 91 talks about the safety in abiding in the presence of God. The blessings here promised in this chapter are not for all believers, but only for those who are living in close fellowship with God, those who are seeking to abide in His presence. Those who rightly know God will set their love upon Him and one of the ways that we can do this is through prayer, through constantly calling on His name and meditating on His word. Because in due time, God is faithful to deliver. Psalm 91 verse 1 to 2 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. And so now join me. Lift up your faith and invite God's presence wherever you are. He is our refuge. He is our fortress and we need to place complete trust in Him and believe that He will hear and answer our prayers. And so, let us pray. Lord Jesus, the Almighty and Risen King, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your promises. Because you have promised to deliver me from the snare of the fowler, and from the deadly pestilence. I give you all the glory and I give you all thanks that my life is protected by divine grace from all the temptations of the devil. Your word in Psalm 91 has promised me great security in the midst of danger. For it says, He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wing you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. And Father, I declare your word to be true. I will not be afraid of the terror that walks by night. I will trust in you to be my shield and defend me against the arrow that flies by day. No pestilence and no destruction will come before me or my family in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for going before us and for covering us, Father. Thank you for being in our midst and that our future is secure in you, King Jesus. Father, I desire to dwell in your presence and I desire to walk with you, Lord. May your presence be found around me. May your presence be found in my home, in my room. May your presence be with me as I travel. Be with me always, Father. Your word tells me that a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. And I thank you that in the midst of great darkness in this world, you will preserve me. You will preserve us. You will preserve our families and our loved ones. I take comfort that your word, your promises are sure and they are strong as they are true. And I am persuaded that as we, your children, walk through this journey of life, you are never too far to hear our cry. You are forever near to hear our call. And Father, I desire to be in close fellowship with you, Lord. Strengthen my desire to seek your presence daily. Thank you for assuring us that we are not alone as your children. We are never forsaken, never left in the clutches of the enemy. We are never left in uncertainty, Father, because you are the good shepherd. 
you will never lead us to destruction, Lord. And even if we face hard times, you have said that you will be with us. You are the God who rescues, a mighty God who delivers and shines his light in the darkness. Your word in Psalm 91 verse 10 says, No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and on the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. And Lord, I thank you for these promises. Thank you for the angels that you have given charge over my life. Thank you for the angels that surround me and walk with me on a daily basis, Father. And even though I cannot see, I believe for it is written in your word, Lord. You have given angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. And so I say today, no evil, no scheme, no trick or trap from the enemy can befall me because my God, Jehovah, is my protector. He is my dwelling place. I say today that no plague or disaster will touch my home because I dwell in the presence of God. It's where I desire to dwell. It's where I want to dwell. And I place my trust fully in you that you will hear our prayer, Father, even for the one who is listening. I surrender to your will completely and I declare that I depend on you and you alone, Jesus. Lord, I place myself under your sovereign protection and lordship. Your words in the book of Psalm 91 bring me hope and comfort. And in agreement with everyone listening, we bow down and lift up our faith as we lift up our heads and look up to you, a merciful and loving God filled with compassion. Thank you for your amazing grace. Your word in Psalm 91 says, Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Father, I accept that to be the portion for my life. Yes, I will call upon you, Father, and yes, you have promised to answer. Indeed, I may face trouble, Father, but you have promised to deliver me. And so I pray, Lord, I rebuke the spirit of fear over our lives. The only spirit that we welcome, the only spirit that we invite into our homes, into our lives and into our hearts is the Holy Spirit. The only presence that I accept to be around me and surrounding me is the presence of God. And so even now I call on the Holy Spirit to burn away the fear that may be in my life. Burn away all insecurities and all feelings of hopelessness. I pray for an anointed fire that cleanses me from the inside, Father. I pray for an anointed fire that cleans me from the inside out. A fire that burns everything, every desire that is not of God. Every thought that doesn't bring you pleasure, Father, burn it away. Your word states that you have not given us a spirit of fear but of power and love and a sound mind. And I declare in the name of Jesus that no spirit of fear will paralyze our thoughts and emotions. No spirit of fear will consume our hearts or mind. Father, I give you all the praise and all the honor as I seek your presence, Father. Move in, Holy Spirit, and displace fear in our lives displace doubt in our lives. Holy Spirit, fill us with peace. 
I pray that my home and my mind and my spirit and soul may not be one that is held by fear because my trust and my protection is found in the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Father, I declare that you are my safe place and may you continue to make your presence known to me and known in my life, Lord. Thank you for hearing this prayer. Unto you I give all the glory and unto you I give all the praise in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen.